These are samples that have just come back from the International Space Station. They were flown in an experiment called BCAT-5. BCAT-5 was made from many different teams. The first team is from Procter & Gamble, and they were looking at product collapse. And as you can imagine, when a product collapses on Earth, it's quite different than when it collapses in space. And if you take away gravity, you get to see the effect throughout the sample. So it's, it, it tells you a lot more, and it really helps your understanding of what's going on. The next two samples are from Harvard, and it's part of a series that they're working on where they're trying to tr find out where a critical point is in a model system, and that is you can have a fluid or, that's liquid or gas or something above that if you raise the temperature and pressure. This model system actually works at room temperature. It's much easier to study, and they're able to look at phase diagrams, and they're finding unexpected surprises, pleasant surprises. The next three samples are from Simon Fraser University with Barbara Friskin and Art Bailey and that's a collaboration with the Canadian Space Agency and NASA. And what happens there is a competition between crystallization and phase separation. And for the first time, they actually saw crystallization arrest phase separation. So instead of a top and a bottom half forming, they would actually see it begin to form and then freeze. And this has not been seen before. Another pleasant surprise. This ninth sample, this is from New York University. And this was Paul Chaikin and Andy Hollingsworth, and they actually saw, for the first time, seeded growth, which is predicted years ago by Don Frankel, where if you put seeds along the wall, and they did the top half in this case, they actually see a different kind of crystal form than an unseeded wall from the bottom, and they would see many crystals in the top, which is called heterogeneous nucleation, versus a single crystal or big crystals in the bottom, which is homogeneous nucleation. So to be able to control that and control the properties of crystallization is actually quite exciting. And this last sample, is from UPenn, Arjun Yod's group, where they were actually looking at how it is, if you can make uh, crystals from particles that change size with temperature, you can raise the temperature and melt them and then cool it and let it recrystallize. If you keep repeating that cycle, it anneals. And every time it does that, the particles are closer to where they'd have to be to make a perfect crystal. So that's actually quite exciting. All of these samples are precursors for what we call the advanced colloids experiment, where instead of looking at a macroscopic level, we'll actually be able to see what's happening at a microscopic level, and we can link the results between the two. And this is leading to not only an understanding of fundamental science, but many applications in self-assembly, self-replication, colloidal engineering.